until now we covered er ending verbs which means that for all the regular er ending verbs you replace that er with e es e o n s e z e n i r i would say regular verbs for any verb we have two different things right stem which doesn't change and then suffix which changes ir was what was it a stem or suffix 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 yeah suffix right ir which will change and stem will always remain the same, same. awesome now let's take an example of any ir ending regular verb and how do we conjugate that verb into its proper subject pronouns so we have this verb which is choisir can anyone guess the meaning of this verb choice to choose to choose choose okay to choose yeah, uh, yeah. it is to verb choose. sorry yeah right yeah choice I is more like a been. noun yeah mm -hmm. choice is a noun right uh, and in french it is the choice is called as le choix that is the choice which is a noun but this to choose is choisir right if i say i choose to learn french okay that is choisir a verb okay now if we see over here ir is a suffix this is a c h o i s this is a stem okay this won't change now let's put all the subject pronouns and then see what will happen with je this remains the same i r changes to i r changes to i s okay for i'm just going to write all of them right now to Sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time, but T. I did this. I put the stem over here, obviously, which will remain the same, right? And I put the subject pronoun over here, according to which the suffix will keep on changing, right? For je, whenever we have I R regular verb, for je we put I S at the end, so this becomes je choisi, je choisi. For two. for that also we put i s at the end now see you see the little bit of difference over here for uh, er ending verbs these two was different for je and to these two they were different and il and je were same right this one now over here what is happening is je and to the stems for those are obviously the stems are same but the suffix for those two are same as well for il l on we have i t okay iit mein jana hai kisi okay and for nu what happens is see for nu we do not do this it's not nu shwasan okay we put one more i s s and then o n s nu choisissan okay nu choisissan and then vu choa same thing but we just add double s i double s vu choisissez okay and over here as well we'll do same thing can someone tell me what we will do i s s yeah Uh, and uh, e and t awesome perfect i s s e n t and how we will pronounce it see for conjugations we never pronounce this right e n t is never pronounced same rule will apply over here so this will be pronounced as choisis e l choisis Can't okay. you pronounce on like on? No, because that does not happen in 
conjugations i guess uh, it was like we talked about this it, it's okay like if you don't remember it's okay but i'll touch on this point one two, uh, once more this ent for any noun or for any other word this ent will be pronounced as o we did an example right comportement uh, or renseignement which means information okay renseignement comportement but there is a case in which ent is pronounced as nothing it it's not pronounced and that only happens in conjugation okay so only in this case we do not pronounce ent as ent in all the other cases ent will be pronounced as o okay okay so that's the only this is the this is one of the exceptions that you just have to remember whenever you see uh, the conjugation of third person plural which is il l you never pronounce ent as o it won't be pronounced at all it will just remain like this choisis same thing with the you know same thing with the ent er regular ending verbs il l parl we do not say il l parlon right it's only il l parl if we say it il l parlon it will become this because this is pronounced as o right this is also pronounced as o nu parlon it's a very fishy language where they want you know where they thought oh you know where they contradict themselves where they first of all they made the rule that you know wherever ent comes we will pronounce it as o there will be no confusions there will be no problems but when they are conjugating this is also getting pronounced as o and then they thought oh you know when someone say nu parlon or when someone say il parlon that will be wrong so let's not pronounce it at all in conjugations <laughs> right so this is yeah this is one of the things yeah it's okay so yeah as long as you guys can remember it you should be fine okay and this is the conjugation of ir ending verb which is a regular verb 